So I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to run a case that models a droplet on a leaf. So we'll first open up the FE file. You can see the uh, geometry there, the liquid, and then the surface in pink. Um, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the utility and we'll change the bond number down to 1.6. We'll update that. And notice you can change the corner half angle, the contact angle, uh, the gravitational vectors, and so forth. Um, next, what we want to do is we want to set up our convergence uh, run, and we'll change the tolerance to 10 to the negative 4. We'll go ahead and save that, and it'll be written down here in the bottom right-hand corner, and now we can start the run. So we can go to convergence run, and you can see that computation is proceeding. And when it's complete, you'll see it stop in the bottom right-hand corner the uh, command input you can also see the computation progress uh, up in the upper right uh, it'll give you an indication of how far the computation has uh, uh, proceeded and how close it is to convergence so it's completed now you can see that it's stable for this case now we can go to the utility again and change the bond number to 2 and update. And then we can start the run again, convergence run. And now you'll see that the droplet is no longer stable. And so what that indicates is somewhere between 1.6 and 2.0 for the bond number is when the droplet is unstable. And so that would be important in, say, applications um, where you have droplets on surfaces and you don't want to uh, have the volume too large or you have some sort of acceleration or gravitational input that uh, uh, that destabilizes it. Um, so we can clearly see that it's unstable, so I'll stop it here. And that's the end of this tutorial.